He called you a galah. So he called you a galah, did he? Guess he thought he was putting you down. He called you a pig, or a cow, or a dog. That would be reason to frown. But a galah, I would take as a compliment. They're always with friends, never sullen or blue, calling out greetings or sharing some food. They squawk and they shout, spin around, fly about. They make living look really like fun. As a group, there's no stress, just plain cheerfulness. Rather noisy and sure, not good at song. That's not to say they're not smart. Give them a catch on a gate or a bag, and in no time they'll have it apart. They'll look you in the eye, raise their comb, cock their head, and if you should say hello cocky, don't be surprised if he replies, drop dead. He called you a galard, did he? Maybe it's cocky who should be offended. Look at us humans and all the duties we leave unattended. He takes his wife through thin and through thick, not like us humans, to incline just to quit. They're part of a community of acquaintances and friends, caring and sharing, like a church should be, one could say. Not all work and no play. Together they assemble for the sunset's coloured hue. Or lined up on a fence, or a wire, or could I say, a pew? So he called you a galah, did he? Lucky you.